Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and this is Board Game Inquisition, where I'm a really big fan of bringing you guys insights and information about the board games you might just want to have in your own collections. So I hear birds are really on trend in the board game world at the moment. So here's five things I think you need to know about Sakatsu. Saikatsu is a game of perspectives where players create a shared garden and compete to have the most amazing view of birds and flowers in the finished garden. On your turn, you play a tile from your hand, gaining points immediately by connecting birds of the same colour and during endgame scoring for the number of matching flowers in your row. At the end of your turn, you draw a new tile from the bag and play continues until all tiles are placed. Then the garden is complete and the winner is declared. Thing one, what's this game all about? Well, Sakatsu is a game that's definitely bird focused because the aim of the game is to connect your birds together of the same types so that you can score victory points. There is the added element of the flora and fauna in the game, which you're trying to create rows of so that you can score additional victory points at the end. But on a whole, this game is very light on theme, which isn't its fault. It's pretty much an abstract strategy game. However, the setting it has of having your birds and your plants and that in your garden is actually quite tranquil and very, very pleasant. Now, similar games to Saikatsu, while there are a lot of games right now that are familiar in theme, um, relating to nature or birds or kind of animals, the outdoors, that kind of thing, and it definitely fits in with those. However, gameplay wise, I have to say that Saikatsu really reminds me of a much more advanced and much more entertaining type of checkers. Thing two, mechanics. So like all good abstract strategy games, this is a deceptively easy game to learn and to teach. What really makes this game very interesting is the push and pull between you and your opponent or opponents, because every time you place a bird down in a spot, you're effectively blocking off something for them or giving them a bonus. And I think this seesawing effect of the game is really what makes it stand out mechanically. The longer we played, the more we realized that every time you did something beneficial for yourself, you might want to also be taking something away from your opponent because the way the scoring works in particular at the end of the game where you count up exactly how many points each row of the same plants are worth um, there's a really big difference in points um, based on how many of those you can connect these are very very important so you can't be allowing your opponent to run away with this so every time you're gaining points for yourself you're trying to take them away from your opponent um, and I think it, it's very very well done I don't normally like games that are confrontational like that but it is just the nature of the game that everything you do affects somebody else and I think it really brings this whole game together it's definitely like the secret sauce here um, I find it mechanically is just it's fun to play there's something very satisfying about placing at your disc counting up your points as you do it it's also a very tactile game um, and overall mechanically this is very simple very solid and very enjoyable thing three on the table so one of my favorite features actually of Sakatsu is how easy it is to set up and to put away. Um, it just takes minutes, literally. Um, and not only that, but it, this is a very quick game to play too. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes for two of us to play. Um, I do love how it looks when it's set up and this is really helped by these 3D token pieces which you're placing out on the board. It makes it look quite impressive as you fill in your garden. Um, replayability wise, well this is an abstract strategy game so it's like saying you know you get bored of playing Azul or of chess. Um, there's infinite possibilities when you play this, it differs because of who you play with, what order these tiles come out of the bag in, where you decide to place your things. Um, this game really is kind of limitless in that respect. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? Well, brace yourselves folks, because I have to talk about these absolutely stunning tokens that you get with the game. So each bird is on a beautiful disc and these discs are thick and clacky and super tactile. Um, and I really love playing with them. They add a lot of dimension and depth to a game that could have been actually incredibly flat without them. Um, artwork wise, the birds are nice. Maybe they could have been a little nicer, perhaps they've been ruined by games like Wingspan, but overall everything is functional, pretty and incredibly appealing. Thing five, is this game actually any good? 
This is going to be an incredibly biased review because I love, love, love this game. I love it so much that I decided I really should make a review about it to tell more people about just how good it is. Um, and I quite like abstract strategy games. I think if you don't, well, this isn't going to appeal to you. But beyond that, it's just so clever. Um, I love how easy it is to put this game together, how easy it is to teach and to learn, and just how satisfying gameplay actually is. Because every move you make matters, but not in a detrimental way or a way that will harm kind of your future prospects. It's a game that's full of opportunities every time you have a new bird to place down. I particularly enjoy the wild card koi pond um, that you get in the game as well. And these basically act as any bird um, when you place them down. But when they're down, it also means that your opponent can use them too. So they're a double-edged sword. Um, and I think they're another really intelligent aspect of design in this game. Normally when I play games one-on-one, -on -one, they don't go well for me <laughs> but this is one that I really really enjoyed where one I found it could be a little bit mean without having to feel guilty about it because it kind of is the nature of the game and not only that this is addictive completely and utterly addictive to say I've played it over 30 times in maybe a month and a half um is just insane for me for any game at all and I love that every time I play it it's still fun it's still different I don't mind if I lose because it was fun to play and I think that's really the hallmark of a really really great game it's got a good theme some fantastic mechanics it's simple it's quick it's easy this is the game that you could play with anybody anywhere actually it doesn't even take up that much space either this is the kind of game I've introduced to my friends I would introduce to family members old young I think this is something that appeals to everybody and sure I'm really waxing lyrical about it a little bit but to be fair it blew me away I wasn't expecting a lot from the box it's like another bird game that looks kind of nice um but it's got a bit of edge to it too and I hope to continue playing even further games of Sakatsu so yeah it gets a really big two thumbs up from me and now for that big question that I'm sure you don't know the answer to. But do I think you should have this board game in your collection? Well, in my mind, if you're looking for a really kind of fun and light abstract strategy game that has a really pleasant theme and some very nice artwork and components, then I really don't think you'll find much better than this. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about all of my future videos. Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Saikatsu, I'd really love to hear from you in the comments below. So tune in again next time for another short and informative board game review.